this and is go. just a story from Reddit. So it's probably not true, but who knows? <laughs> wow, Reddit. Who knows? <laughs> you know, Reddit, like <laughs> stories. Okay. And this is called Creatures Under Denver Airport. Yes. A man was hired to work on the train under the airport. He did this for months until one day he covered someone's shift. He was well aware of the rumors and conspiracies surrounding the airport. Since he was the new guy, everyone was eager to spook him with the tales of the place. <laughs> Lucifer, the big blue horse, uh, the forebearer of the apocalypse, killed his artist. Rumor has it that his red eyes look into your soul and drive you mad. And I'm sure you've all heard about or seen the murals depicting apocalyptic scenes. And don't forget about the tunnels underneath the airport. About 10 years ago, 14 different planes' windshields shattered for no reason. It was labeled a weather-related anomaly, but many believe it had something to do with electromagnetic pulse testing done deep within the underground tunnels. So, like, all of the... There were 14 airplanes lined up and all of their front windshields just shattered for no reason at the same time. Yikes. Yeah. And they thought it was because of electromagnetic pulse testing. All right. Janitors. That could be true. It could be very true. Because what are they doing down there, man? You know what I mean? Exactly. They're not going to tell us. Well, no. We'll never know. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Janitors have claimed to hear moaning coming from the tunnels at night. One employee got lost in the tunnels for two days and came across a room that had strange glyphs all over it with a strange keypad mounted on the wall. Some of the tunnels are rumored to be tied to the U.S. military or even German military. One janitor complained about a supersonic noise that bothered him regularly, and it would make him disoriented and sick to his stomach. Doesn't huh. that sound like sonic terrorism? Like mm-hmm. that story? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, is there, is this, how accessible are these tunnels? Not. Oh, okay. So it's not like it could just be. So it's not just like some homeless person down there. No, so to hear the moaning. Ooh, so ooh, okay. So there's a particular room in the tunnel that employees can't open. They Mm. tried several keys, and they just assumed that it was a prank room or a maintenance room. Rumors said it was a masonic room or an alien center. (laughs) The new guy didn't really believe all of these stories until one night when he saw a flicker, like a flashlight. He walked up to the glass entrance to the tunnels and looked in. He saw a man kneeling in front of the locked door in a black suit and a gas mask. He goes to work the next day and asks a co-worker about the man he saw. She said this isn't the first time someone's seen a man in black and winked and walked away. During the man's shift, His boss asked him to stay late to do a last inspection on the train. He was all alone. He approached the locked door. Heart racing, he peers over, and the door is wide open. He sees a bright light emulating from the door, stepped inside, and the room was an empty metal room with two doors. It was pitch black. The other was rust. At the black door, the man sees a gas mask. Then suddenly, boom, the doors to the tunnel slam shut. I knew it. Panicking, he ran to the door, hoping it would open again, but it was locked. He grabbed the handle to the black door, but it wouldn't budge. He looked at the rusty door and grabs the handle. It opened. Inside was a descending staircase to the darkness below. Curious, he went down the steps. He figures he went down about five stories. I know it's going to happen. And then there was a corridor to a tunnel. This tunnel eventually opened to a huge cavern. He looks back toward the corridor, sees a sign that says, The Abyss Looks Back. And that was it. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I thought you were going to say, I thought it was going to go on for more... And I thought you were going to say the guy ends up having to put the mask on and the stuff on. I don't know if there's part two. And that was like the shadow. I don't know. But can you imagine seeing that sign? The uh, abyss looks back. I don't like it. Gross. 
I don't like it at all. It's hellish. I don't. I like don't. It. I don't like those kind of things. <laughs> and yet here we are. And here we are on <laughs> the spookiest show on earth. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We wish. Then we'd be rich. No, I'm just kidding. I know, right? So, um, that's all I have for that. That's all I've got for that. And up next, I would like, to, if, if you don't want to do any story, I was going to say, why don't we go on to Comment Corner? ta <laughs> 